This is the Tech Support Guy Show, episode 72 for October 20th, 2013. Google Keep versus Evernote versus OneNote. Peace and chicken grease. Hi, I'm Mike Cermak, known on the site as Tech Guy. Today, Dan and I are going to be talking about some ways to keep notes on your various devices. Uh, we're going to talk about Google Keep, Evernote, and Microsoft OneNote. I think Evernote's been around the longest. I think Google Keep's relatively new to this. And Dan is a bit of an expert in some of these. Uh, my limited experience in this is with Evernote. Um, I have used Evernote on and off for many years now. Uh, I had the um, the premium version of it, which which gave a couple extra features. And recently, I've been having some problems with it. It's really been frustrating. I've had cases where it doesn't synchronize files, which is terrible. Like, for example, I'll have uh, notes in there. I have a particular note with IP addresses at this location, or IP addresses on the network at this location, so I can quickly, you know, keep track of of my assignments. And even if I'm remote, someone will call me and say, "What's the IP address for this camera?" I'll say, "Uh, it's 192.168." You know, whatever. And I'll make a change on it using my iPad, and then whenever I go to the website, it hasn't synced, or vice versa, or on my phone. And I can go down there and click sync, and then all of a sudden, the change is gone from one device, and it's an older... It's just not been reliable for me recently. It's been very frustrating. And even more annoying to me is every once in a while, every couple of days, I got a pop-up on each of my laptop and desktop computers saying there's an update for Evernote available. And I click install, and it works on it for five minutes, and then says, error, it wasn't able to install the update. And I've gone to the extent of uninstalling Evernote and reinstalling it, and then the next time the update comes out, the same thing happens. It's error 2770. I don't know what it was. Uh, it's very generic. doesn't tell you anything. And So I'm, I'm about done with Evernote. Well, that's, it, that's my, my, my complaint. I'm about done with Evernote. So I, in my mind, functionality-wise, I think Evernote and OneNote are very similar in their strengths. Um, Evernote has, has something that OneNote doesn't in that it has this, the, the synchronization that you talked about um, where you, you're actually saving the files locally, but they're synchronized. They're uploaded to the Evernote website uh, or, or data storage area. And then on any other, uh, any other machine that you use, they're downloaded, I believe, automatically as well. Uh, OneNote is, is a little bit different in how that's done. You either keep your notes locally or you store them in the cloud using SkyDrive. And I love doing it like that. I don't have to necessarily worry about synchronization. I uh, load my... <laughs> <laughs> he is not happy. He is not happy. I'm Poor take... guy. He just wants to be on the show. I'm going to take a note in Google Keep right now to not ignore my son. <laughs> <laughs> no um, problem. But uh, OneNote, using that with, with SkyDrive, I'm saving all of my notes uh, automatically to SkyDrive. So once you set that up, it, it saves them all automatically. And it doesn't necessarily uh, pull them, as far as I, uh, the functionality I use, into my other machines to, to, to synchronize those. And I'm fine with that. I'm fine with going in and opening within uh, the OneNote application. Or I, I've honestly not used the... Uh, Android or iOS apps that are, are available for it, but you could easily open them that way as well. Um, OneNote gets my get, gets my vote because it, it comes with just about every computer. You know, every computer, and very few people are actually buying computers these days, but most computers you're using Microsoft Office, right? Right. And it comes with Microsoft Office. So it, it, Microsoft Office does cost, but you can use OneNote on the, uh, on the web for free. Although you lose functionality, uh, such as being able to print directly to OneNote, which is something that I've used fairly extensively as well. Uh, for example, expense reporting and things like that. I don't necessarily want to print the expense reports so or um, any website. I can print directly to OneNote and keep that in there. I can do the same thing with emails. For example, at, at my office, uh, we have a retention policy that says after X number of days, uh, email is purged from the system. So if I want to keep something in an organized fashion, I can kind of right-click on the email in Outlook and say send to OneNote. Uh -huh. And it files it away directly for me. And Evernote doesn't have that kind of, kind of functionality. Um, 
for for uh, Evernote and OneNote together, I use both of these for uh, a couple of things. Meeting notes in particular. I go to, unfortunately, a lot of meetings. And I created templates in both to keep track of who is attending those meetings, what time the, what, what time the, the meeting was, the topics for the meeting, and then the outstanding action items at the end of the meeting and send that out to the, the group that, that, that was attending that meeting and any other stakeholders there, therein. Um, I found that uh, just, just because of the integration with, with Outlook and Word and everything else, OneNote just worked better for me than Evernote. Evernote does have a little broader reach as far as platforms concerned. Evernote, Mac, Windows, Linux, uh, iOS, and Android, all of those work flawlessly. For OneNote, you're, you're kind of stuck with Mac and Windows and the Android app, the iOS app, and... Uh, Which the, really just means not BlackBerry Linux. and not Linux. Correct. So, yeah, so no one uses those anyway. <laughs> I, I, so, to that end, that's, that's really true, Mike. I mean, most people are... You have used your uh, your tablet, your iPad Mini, and your iPad much more than you use your laptop. At least as yeah, I've seen you. Well, you know, and speaking of it, you know, I have my iPad here. I'm looking at the screenshots of the um, the uh, ever or the um, OneNote app here. I'm going to try and show them on the screen a little bit, but um, or maybe um, Stan can try and do an overlay on them on the recording, but. They, uh, it looks like a Windows app. I mean, it looks pretty incredible. It looks almost like the Windows 8 app. Yeah. Uh, Evernote is really well put together. Um, the the free form just ability. Yeah, I, I saw that display. That was a very that was a very good banner white. Hey, no, sorry, I, I just lost my uh, audio while uh, while I was trying to do that, so I couldn't hear you making fun of me. <laughs> um. Yeah. There we go. That is really nice. So, yeah, it does. I'm, I'm kind of, yeah, that, that looks nice. It looks like you have full functionality there. It's not just a dumbed down app. It looks like it's got everything in it. And, and, and for you, Mike, with your frustration with Evernote and the, you know, every couple of day failed updates, Microsoft doesn't update OneNote that much. So... <laughs> You're not going to necessarily get all of those failed updates. <laughs> well, I think Microsoft is pretty used to uh, you know sending out updates. They probably got that down. Yeah, I, <laughs> I I believe you're right. Hobo in the chat has asked if it's available in Office 365, and mm -hmm. yes, it is. It is available in Office 365. And as I understand it, if you have a subscription to Office 365, um, uh, you get the the clients as well because Office 365 is kind of uh, more on the web than it is. Uh, necessarily the the clients that you are used to installing for Microsoft Office, but you, I believe you also get those clients. And yes, it is part of that. Uh, one thing to note that all, th all three of the uh, apps we're talking about today or services we're talking about today, Google Keep, OneNote, and Evernote, they're all, they all have free versions. Uh, with OneNote, the great limitation with the free version there is that you're really limited to web access. And because or of that- Or the apps, right? I believe yes, you can use the apps as well. Mm -hmm. But so you know, on your desktop, you have to use the web. Right, and mm -hmm. honestly, I unless think, you buy the Office program. Yes, that's correct. You have to. Which you most have people to, have anyway. Right, and if you're going to buy OneNote individually, I think it costs about seventy dollars, uh, and it comes with Office, uh, every Office suite version that I'm aware of, every version of Office Premium, whatever versioning they're using these days. Yep. Um, Google Keep, on the other hand, I haven't talked much about that because I really, I'm not a fan. It's, uh, it's an app that was, it, it's in its infancy. I believe it came out in March of 2013 and it's limited to Android and therein lies the problem. I don't take notes on my phone. Um, I would maybe take notes on my Nexus, except that I don't take my Nexus to, uh, to work with me, which is where I take most of my notes. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I think iPads are a little more, it might have an iOS app, but iPads are a little more uh, prominent now in, in uh, the corporate world. So if you had an iOS app, I, I think that's better. And just the features within, 
It's very basic note-taking, note kind of uh, task-oriented note-taking too, not as full-featured as Evernote and OneNote. Evernote and OneNote, I mean, you can use to fully manage a project. You can, you can use it like you would use Word, quite honestly. But Google Keep, you're taking very brief notes, uh, no, no real details in there, unless that you're, you're, you're very good with your opposable thumbs, unlike me. Well, you know, and I'm looking at these. One of the biggest things is the the platform support. Yes. For Google Keep, it's web and Android, and period. They, That's they, it. They don't have iOS There's, on there. They don't have iOS, yeah. at least not as uh, as of the time that this article was written. <clears throat> and uh, it's it's a fairly new app, March 2013. So, you know, um, give them time. And to I grow, don't expect I guess. that they would likely ever have a Windows app. Google's generally just in yeah. the web, but yeah. yeah, yeah, I don't know. So I'm leaning towards OneNote. I might give that a try and report back next time. Uh, you know, the other thing here is as far as organization in uh, Microsoft Office. You know, excuse me, in OneNote they have you know notebooks and tags and color coding. In yeah. Evernote they have notebooks and stacks <clears throat> and tags, and in Google Keep they only have color coding. You can't actually put them into different categories. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of. Lane. Not good for keeping notes. Like, <laughs> I definitely need to categorize them. And yeah, when I worked for a, uh, a software development company on the implementation side, I created a notebook for each of my clients and would track each of my clients within those notebooks. And that called the the organization and color coding within OneNote really helped me streamline the implementation processes for these clients because I had everything I needed searchable within. A single application and just really easy to get to without having to 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 do too much digging and, and sleuthing if you will yep great all right well i'm gonna give it a shot um any other thoughts or comments on this before we close it up dan one note gets my vote all right i'm gonna give it a try I, i've loved evernote for years and have recommended it for a long time but lately it's just been too much for me uh, so I'm going to I'm gonna give it a shot and uh, and let you guys know what I think about it. Let us know what you guys are using as well or your experience with the other ones. You can reply down below here. Go to techguy.org. Go to the tech related news area. You can reply there. Techguy.tv is where we have all the past episodes, including this one. You can download them, subscribe in iTunes, all that good stuff, and uh, give us some feedback on that and uh, and what products you use. Maybe there's a fourth one that we haven't even considered that I'll like even more. <laughs> let us know. Thank you very much, Dan. I appreciate it. Peace and chicken grease. Peace and chicken grease. You heard it here, folks. <laughs>